Here we go. So the question that I'm going to ask you guys to, for today is to identify the vertex of a quadratic and then to identify if it's a max or a min. So to do this, there's a couple things we need to know. First of all, we need to know what the parent graph looks like. And coming from Algebra 2 as well as from Unit 1, this should not be a question. Okay? Hopefully, at least it's not. We should all know at least the parent graph x squared. Got it. The next thing we should know, which is something we have also covered, is the parent form. Or a vertex form of a quadratic. right? And we need to remember what these transformations do. Because should the graph open up or should it open down? Like, What does everything look like? So we kind of look at this. And what we notice is there's a couple things that are going on. We know this negative is actually reflecting the graph down. We know this 1 half is actually a vertical compression. Right? The graph is being shifted one unit to the left and three units down. So it probably looks something like this. Doesn't need to be perfect, but it probably looks something like that. Does everybody see? Does everybody see how I went through that in my brain? Yes, I didn't have to use graphing technology. I said, oh, negative, that means it reflects the x-axis. Oh, one half on the outside, that's a vertical compression. Oh. That's my h, so it's opposite, so it's negative to the left one. And that's my k, that's down 3. So therefore, my vertex is negative 1, 3, negative 3. And you guys can see that's an absolute max, right? So I'm just going to write an absolute max. Okay. Now, if you do not believe me, 